As I am recording this video, my channel currently has 9,500 subscribers. So first of all, thank you so much to everyone who has subscribed. Recently, I learned about an app called Merch Shelf, and I'm sure you guys have seen this on other YouTube channels. It is a way for YouTubers to sell merch directly on their YouTube videos. And in order for me to have this feature, I need to hit 10,000 subscribers. So before I tell you more about the application that powers Merch Shelf, I want you to do me a favor. Locate the subscribe button below this video. And if you appreciate this content, please click on the button and subscribe you guys are going to have access to some hysterical small business merch. Designing merchandise is something that I have done for years and I'm super excited to do it within the context of Bootstrap Biz Advice. So the question of the day is how can I sell t-shirts online without having to have t-shirts in my house? So this is a common problem that people have. They want to design t-shirts. They want to use this as a means to generate income for their families. However, they do not want to have to stock all that inventory. So what you have to do is you have to leverage something called print on demand. And one of my favorite print on demand companies, which also powers the merch shop is the website Teespring. So in this video, I'm going to take you behind the scenes and show you what's possible within Teespring and encourage you again to subscribe so I can start using Teespring to generate passive income for Bootstrap Biz Advice. Without further ado, let's hop in. Teespring is a free end-to-end -end solution for your e-commerce business. You can create and sell online through apps like TikTok, YouTube, or directly within Teespring itself. If you go to how it works in the top left-hand corner, it does a really good breakdown of how this service is laid out. So when you click on the Teespring launcher, all you have to do is click start designing to create your product. Then your product goes up on Teespring and you can promote your products. The orders are fulfilled by Teespring. Teespring handles your customer service and you collect your profits. So essentially you don't have to pay Teespring until you sell something and they take a portion of your sales as a payment or commission for allowing you to use their platform. So what's amazing about Teespring is you don't have to stock inventory, you don't need money to get started, you simply need your own designs. The reason why you want to start from scratch with a graphic designer is you know for a fact that you own the intellectual property of your designs. So you can maintain the rights to everything you create if you start from scratch. So I would go to a site like 99designs, I'll leave the link in the description so that you can click on over there and find yourself a designer. I myself find my clients on this platform and when it comes to finding quality designers, I believe the quality of people on 99designs is higher than websites like Fiverr. When people say, oh yeah, I'll do it for $5, the quality is totally different from the professionals that are on 99designs. So I strongly recommend it, like I said, I myself am on the platform as a website designer and there are tons of graphic designers available there. So come up with some type of theme. Decide for yourself what niche you want to fill with your designs. Design them through a graphic designer who does this for a living. Get access to your quality graphics files and then you're going to hop on over to Teespring. Now, if you keep scrolling down, what they do is they give you suggestions for product costs. So you would put it on Teespring, say for instance, this t-shirt for $24. The t-shirt itself costs $10 for Teespring to create it once someone places the order. And so you profit $14. I would also recommend go with the suggested prices. There are so many people on this platform who are selling merchandise that they have proven what people are willing to pay for these things. Say for instance, I would never charge $60 for a blanket, but apparently people will pay that. 
go with the recommended prices and then make adjustments based on how people are buying. So what I'm gonna actually do is log in because I wanted to start playing around with this and I actually placed a sample order that came in the mail uh, yesterday. So this is a design that I made with a friend of mine back in 2017. I still had it saved on my computer. And so I decided, okay, let's utilize this design and just test out Teespring. See for myself what the quality of the prints are and decide whether I want to go this route. So I hopped into Teespring and I uploaded the design file. And then I was able to choose from a wide variety of items to put that design on. So what I decided to do was to put it on a sticker and put it on a mug. So you don't have to just do t-shirts. You can put it on tote bags. You can put it on iPhone cases. So once you upload the designs, you have options there. I'm gonna give you guys a little sneak peek. Again, what I need you all to do is for you to go ahead and subscribe to my channel so that I gain the ability to sell through Teespring on my YouTube videos. So when my shop goes live, one of the designs that I have been working on is my Petty Crocker design. Now I have created a series of designs, I'm calling it a work suite worth of graphic tees. And so I have five designs I'm working on. I have Petty Crocker, Please Advise, uh, Struggle Bus, Frye, and Per My Last Email. And so what I've decided to do is to work with graphic designers to create a visual of these ideas, and then I'm going to place it on merchandise. So for Petty Crocker, I said, Petty Crocker, you're petty, she's petty, these are just petty times. Why not laugh about it? So that is one of the designs that will be available. So I decided that Petty Crocker naturally should go on a sweatshirt. Um, she should have a sticker, um, a mug so that people knew where she was that day. Um, Petty Crocker needed a t-shirt, but she needed a V-neck. She needed to show all of the neck, okay? No, no scoop neck for her. Um, she also wanted an iPhone case. And last but certainly not least, when she's doing yoga, she wants the world to know how petty she's feeling that day. So I freaking love that I was able to take that one design and not only place it on merchandise, but to choose what color I wanted the design to go on. So if I go back, let me see if I can edit this and kind of show you all um, the back end of this. Okay, so I'm gonna click on edit and I'll kind of show you how it works. Okay, so you can see I've chosen the product images that I want as the default image. So on the Petty Crocker sweatshirt, I have it listed for $48, which was the suggestion, and there's a $15 profit on that. The die cut sticker, I decided to actually list a little bit lower than what they suggested, and my profit margin is $1.50. Um, the mug, I make $7 on that. Uh, the V-neck t-shirt, I make $13.58. iPhone case, I make seven bucks. And the tank top, I make $14.68. So this is what would actually be deposited into my PayPal account when those designs sold. Okay, we're just gonna say start designing. So you guys, yeah, we'll leave this so you guys can see what the process looks like. Um, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna go with apparel, um, and I wanna stick my design on a women's t-shirt. Okay, and I've got some to choose from, so um, sure, I'm gonna do a comfort tee, and I want to sell it, okay. So now we have the comfort tee, so what I need to do is to go in and find the Petty Crocker design, and it's gonna get dropped in on the t-shirt. So the default is white, but if I wanna add some more colors, I could say, you know, Petty, you know, I've gotta look at how it's showing up because that background may not be a good fit. Um, let's see. So like, it's not showing up well on the gray. So you really have to decide, okay, what's what's looking good? Okay, now that, what is that there? 
That's new navy. New navy looks awesome. I like that. Um, what's this here? The black looks good. Okay, so in terms of what's legible, I felt like the only ones that were super legible were these last three. So now that I've clicked through and I've seen how it looks, I'm gonna unclick the ones that I didn't think worked out. And so the only ones that will be left are these three. So if I click there, you'll see that's the black and there's your navy. Okay, we're gonna click done. So those are the product colors. Then we can say select the first image that people will see when they go to the listing. And so I actually want the default to be the white because I think that's what actually looks the best. But if someone wants it in new navy or black, then they have that ability to do so. All right, then I need to set my price. It's already gonna give a default. It says tip, most creators price this product at $26.99. Why wouldn't I go a dollar higher? You know, if people are willing to pay it, let's go for it. So I'm going to change that to 26. And um, this is the price for products fulfilled from the EU. They are on that. You don't need to understand it. They'll take care of it for you. Um, so then I'm going to click continue. And so it's going to give me like a preview, kind of like Vistaprint does, of what does a design look on other things. And the thing that's really drawing my attention is this tote bag. I'm like, oh, Petty should have a tote. Um, so I'm gonna click edit. And so now I can see, you know, Hetty on that tote. Um, she needs white as well. And this is actually a khaki, so she needs that khaki. Okay, cool. And then again, it's gonna give me the suggested price, fabulous, and we're gonna continue. And so you can keep going through. You can say, okay, well, Petty needs to be on a long sleeve. She needs she needs a hoodie, like she needs to be warm. What is? What else does Petty need? I mean, if Petty needs leggings, um, I think most designs aren't gonna look that good on leggings. I think you have to be intentional about designing for leggings. So what I love about this site is you can put the graphic design stuff on someone from 99designs and you can focus on really envisioning where would that design really thrive. Not every design needs to be a sticker. Not every design needs to go on a pillow. But having you know various options for your designs gives people more to shop from and whatever they're in the mood for, they can get. So again, if you are a YouTuber and you are interested about Merch Shelf, you've seen how other YouTubers have sold products under their YouTube videos and you've been wondering how they made that possible, it is through a partnership with Teespring. So if you click on eligibility, you have to be a member of the YouTube Partner Program, which means basically you are making money off of ad revenue. You need to have more than 10,000 subscribers and you need to have no community guideline strikes. So in my case, I am a member of the Partner Program. I don't have any strikes against me, but I do not meet the subscriber requirement. Thus, I am not eligible for Merch Shelf. But as soon as I am, they have instructions on how to set up your Merch Shelf. So it would be connected to whatever you have within Teespring itself. So I'm just putting it out there. If you want to sell merch online, yes, you can stock your own inventory. You can go to the post office every other day. You can do all of that, or you can leverage an app like Teespring to do the work for you. And all you have to do is create your designs, post them on Teespring, and deposit the money from PayPal every single month. Thanks so much for stopping by 30 Days of Apps. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, and turn on the notification so you know when I've uploaded the next video in this series. My name is LaShonda, and this is Bootstrap Biz Advice, where I teach you how to grow your biz without breaking the bank. If you need help with your website, click on the link in my description to check out my Squarespace Expert Designer profile. You can also gain access to my resource library for free by clicking on the link in my description. Until next time, ta-ta for now.